Happy weekend, happy Saturday. Mm. January 14th, I have three, not six, three days until my birthday. And oh my goodness, y'all, I am super exhausted. I feel like my face is super fat. Is it just me? I think I'm just tripping. I think it's my braids. My homegirl did my hair. And my mom and my dad really like it. I really like it, too. It's different. I can always put this, like, in a little bun. But here recently, I've just been letting them dangle. Or whatever. I did not make it to $13 tattoos yesterday. When I got off work, it was cold. It was raining. I was tired. I just came straight home. Like, straight home. I got my nails done today. My birthday nails. <laughs> and I just got white on my toes. Got me some Arby's. Brought my ass home. I changed my birthday reservation. Um, my birthday dinner was supposed to be at the Black Jackie Lounge tonight. It is now going to be January 21st. In honor of my granny's birthday, I wanted to have my birthday dinner on her birthday so I could celebrate both of our birthdays. So, yeah, I just modified it and changed it from this Saturday to next Saturday. I'm chilling all this weekend. I'm off. I don't go back to work until Wednesday. But I think I'm going to, like pop in to work on tuesday because the starbucks is actually closer to my job than my apartment so of course i'm gonna go to starbucks on my birthday because it's my birthday duh i love starbucks i'm gonna treat myself to starbucks so yeah i don't know if i'm going out tonight i'm supposed to be spending the night with my mom tomorrow because my dad's going out of town he won't be back until monday so, yeah, I'm going to just spend the night with my mama tomorrow. And then we may get into something tomorrow or Monday. I'm not sure. And then Tuesday for my actual birthday, I just want to go to Taco Tuesdays. Like, I'm real chill this weekend. I'm going to get real glammed up for my birthday dinner next weekend. And then I might go out. But I just honestly just needed a break. And I was already going to be off of work on Monday anyway. So I was like, let me just go ahead and take my birthday off. You feel me? So, yeah. I don't know if I told y'all, but I got summons for jury duty. Yes, I did. I'm not excited about it. So I sent an excuse. 
I like filled up the little form and I sent it back with an excuse letter. And I was like, look, with the way the economy is right now, I cannot afford to be missing no days of work because my job is not going to pay me for those days missed. I'm just not going to get occurrences. Like that's going to be unpaid time off. And I can't afford that. Not with my rent, not with my bills. Like I explained all of that in the letter. Dead ass. I was like, I cannot afford it. Like 12, they want to pay me 12.50 a day, not an hour, a day. And I was just like, that's not going to cut it. I got expenses. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep our fingers crossed that they excuse me from jury duty this time around. I didn't ask for a permanent permanent excuse. I just asked for an excuse for like this upcoming summons. But I'm still going to request the time off in February in case I still have to go for the interview, like the whole selection process. I've never wanted to do jury duty. I've ne I've dreaded it for so freaking long. Like, hit me up when I'm like 60 and I ain't got nothing to do and I'm trying to get away from my grandkids or some shit. Then we can do it. You feel me? Because at that point, you know, I'll probably be retired. I probably won't mind. It'll be a break from the house. Just not right now. So that's that. And then I got to get my W-2s this week from work because I'm going to try to get my taxes filed by the end of the month Atlanta is booked and ready for the end of February so yeah I'm just chilling right now I'm just protecting my peace and my energy I'm trying to stay calm and relaxed like I'm not going to let anyone fuck up my mojo right now because I'm on a high right now and I want to keep it that way but let me tell you about this quick little fashion nova situation so after I bought my birthday gift for myself, which I'm about to show y'all. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But if for those of you who haven't, I'm going to show y'all. But I had ordered like a $65, $67 order from Fashion Nova. And they use this carrier called Laser Ship, okay? First of all, this will be my last order, last time on Fashion Nova. Because I get it. You can't change the address, the shipping address after it's shipped because they don't have direct contact with the carrier. But the simple fact is you didn't offer no alternatives. As customer service, you are supposed to help your customers. Y'all could have reshipped my order. Y'all could have, um, yeah, reshipped my order, gave me store credit or refunded me with the hopes that I could redo the order and just bring it to the right address. They didn't offer me no alternatives. Alternatives. They told me to contact the carrier. So I did. I the the guy called me and was like, I'm here. And I was like, Well, the thing is you're at the wrong address. It should be such and such and such and such. Can you guys re-deliver it? And he was like, I'll let them know and I'll try to get it sent back out. Well, it that was yesterday. No, correction. Was that yesterday or was that Thursday? I think it was yesterday. I don't know. It was either yesterday or Thursday. No, it was yesterday because when I looked at the tracking, it said 13. So, yes, it was yesterday. So, I contacted them and I was like, hey, it's the wrong address. This is the right one. And he was like, well, I'll just take it back and see if they can deliver it tomorrow, which is today. So, hopefully, I get my Fashion Nova package. $60 is not a lot, but it's a lot. I'm going to be hot if I don't get my shit. And I will never purchase from Fashion Nova again because that was just ridiculous. That was fucking ridiculous. And this is my first bad experience with Fashion Nova. I had stopped because of previous horror stories and I should have paid attention because they are just, it wasn't even the fact that shipping was quick. I'm pretty sure all my items are accounted for, but it's just a simple fact that y'all didn't offer to even try to help like granted you can't contact the carrier directly but if i'm telling you guys what's going on you should at least give me some alternative just in case i don't get my package you know what i'm saying so we'll see i'll keep y'all posted if y'all don't get a fashion overhaul separate from this video then y'all will know that i didn't get my shit and i am pissed fashion file however great customer service great packaging got my package on time no problems whatsoever and i got my birthday present to myself it is this taupe or gray whatever you want to call it alexander wang 
bucket bag. Ah! It is genuine leather. It's a, what they called it? They called it a pebbled lambskin bucket bag. And it has gold hardware, excuse me, gold hardware everywhere. And whoever had this, I feel like they only wore it like a few times and like put it on fashion file because it's in perfect condition. It was no scuffs, no marks on it, no nothing. Like it came in a cute little fashion file dust bag. Like it was so professional and so cute. And I absolutely love it. I've been carrying it, carrying it already. It has like one big pocket on the back and then one deep pocket in the front with a back zipper pocket. It is heavy, like it's heavy, but it, excuse me, it comes with this handle strap, which if I'm not mistaken, like you can adjust the fringe in the front if you need to get in there, you feel me? But if you need to like grab it, it will automatically close it because it's no, it's no closer. It just scrunches up like that. And then you have the long messenger strap, which is how I normally carry it on a regular basis. And it just comes around the front like that. It's super cute. Like, I love it. I've always wanted a bucket bag. I've always wanted to, like a real genuine leather bag. And I've always wanted an Alexander Wayne bag, period. It was between this one and the satchel. And I was like, I've been wanting a bucket bag. I have plenty of satchels. Let me just get this one. And so I'm happy about that. So far, everything has been going well for my birthday week. Um, nails, toes, hair, birthday gifts. My mood is, I'm in a great mood. I'm disappointed in a lot of things and certain people, but I'm okay. Like I, I'm on top of the world and then I'm just ready to get cute for my birthday and my birthday dinner next weekend and finish out Capricorn season 2023 is starting off pretty good, no complaints. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that bit of tea and I will see y'all in later footage. So just stay tuned, check out previous videos if you haven't already, comment, rate, and share. And please don't mind the fat face or the ashy lips. I just got done eating Arby's so I didn't put no lip gloss or nothing on, but yeah, that's so finish watching YouTube videos and chill. Um, and I'll just catch y'all later. Hey y'all, y'all seeing me again. Light, light glam. Y'all can finally see my hair. Y'all, y'all saw it a little bit earlier, but I was not planning on going out, but my best friend is getting me out of the house. So, I'm going, I'm going to the grove. And I'm not dressing up. I mean, I put on this cute little crop top, like jogging crop top. It's cute. I mean, it's cozy. I got on some leggings. I don't really want to wear heels. Like, I'm just not trying to wear heels. I might put on my knee-high boots, though, because I just feel like it'd go with the black-on-black -black ensemble. I gotta change my coat, though, because it's not it's not group appropriate. It's like I'm going to the movies type shit. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to the groove. I've never been to the groove on a Saturday. I can't remember it. I don't know if my... I don't know if my best friend has been to the groove, but I've been. I went there for New Year's Eve, and it was okay. Like, I always have a good time when I go. Like, it's never no bad energy. It's, like, grown and sexy vibes. Like, it's, like, an older crowd, 35 plus. So, yeah. My best friend's going to be here in 20 minutes, so I'm trying to, like, get my life together. <laughs> and go but i want to like figure out what the fuck i'm gonna put on my lips because my lips is ashy we can't go in there with ashy as lips that's not cute i hate games sometimes okay let me finish let me concentrate and do this if i don't come back on before i go y'all will see clips and pics and i'll check in with y'all later <laughs>
It is 1 a.m. in the morning, and I am lit, okay? Like, I'm so lit right now. But I had a nice pre-birthday celebration. Shout out to my best friend. I, I want to eat these lemon pepper wings. Like, I want to eat at least two and then drink some water and then pass the fuck out. My lashes are super cute. I don't want to take them off, but I know I need to. And I need to put my bandana on my head. I'm so fucked up, y'all. This is not a part of the plan. That's the heat that she... It's my birthday. It is 1.47 in the afternoon. I'm about to order me some food because I'm starving. I had oatmeal for breakfast. I've been up watching Netflix. If you, if you have Netflix and you haven't watched season one and two of New Amsterdam... I was not a Graves Anatomy person. Like, I missed the whole Graves Anatomy trend. Like, by the time I heard about Graves Anatomy, I think they were, like, a few seasons in and shit. And I just, I wasn't. Mm -mm. If it's, like, one or two seasons in, I can binge watch it and catch up, you know, so I can be on cue for the next season. So, I have been binge watching New Amsterdam for, like, four days. Like, since I got off Friday. I had started watching it the beginning of January and then I kind of like stopped watching it for a moment. But here recently, like I can't stop watching it. It's that fucking good. So yeah, my parents are about to stop by. I appreciate all the birthday wishes from everybody on social media. My sister cashed at me. I got two gifts coming from my um, sister and her mom in Ohio. Um, I got text messages, I got calls, I got DMs. I like, I appreciate the love. I really, really do. This weekend was about me chilling and just like being off for my birthday. And like the sun came out on my freaking birthday, yo. Like it's lit because it rained all fucking weekend. It rained all fucking weekend and it was gloomy as fuck yesterday. So I am so thankful for this beautiful sunshine and I'm just so thankful to see 34 years of life and I pray for many many more I have so much of this journey left and I can't wait to share it with you guys I don't want to go back to work tomorrow but I only work three days and I get paid Friday so I really shouldn't complain I should be very thankful that I got a good job I got a great apartment like y'all I'm really about to get on my ish because I got big, big things coming up and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So just stay tuned. Um, I'm going to do my celebrity birthday shout out in the next few clips and then I'll catch up with y'all on the weekend. But I'm about to just enjoy chilling on my birthday, watching my show. I'm about to order me some conviction chicken because i'm addicted to their whiskey glaze chicken tenders they're so fucking good y'all but my parents are gonna stop by a little later and then i think my brother's gonna stop by a little later and then i'm gonna link up with friends this weekend coming up in honor of my granny's birthday we're doing my birthday dinner on saturday i think i already told y'all that so really I just wanted to relax this weekend and then we'll, we'll do a little turn up this weekend coming up. And then, yeah, we, we got moves to make. We got big, big, big moves to make. So just stay tuned. Nobody here wants vagina. So 34th birthday in the books. It's been truly amazing. Thanks to everybody who showed me mad love and support. And thanks for the gifts. I really appreciate it. Pre-birthday weekend lit and relaxing. I had 
an amazing, um, amazing four day weekend. And you know, bitches nails is cute. You know, my little yeah yeah said they was fire, so they must be fire. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to do a little something this Saturday, but nothing major. But I just wanted to say thank you for the birthday wishes. Night. So I completely forgot to tell y'all that I went and saw House Party the other day. I gave it a C plus. It had its moments. It was cute or whatever. You know, it, it's never going to touch the original. They kind of lost me towards the end. I would suggest seeing it for a matinee. I wouldn't pay like full price to go see it. Wait until it comes out on a streaming service. Okay, it's not a must see, but there's a lot of good movies coming up this year, y'all. So y'all probably gonna be seeing me going to the movies a lot more. But um, yeah, we got through Monday. Let's get the, through the rest of the work week because I'm tired. Rock is like he's become such an icon he's kind of like jesus like he could just be whatever version of him you want him to be mm. like my rock does gay stuff sometimes but only when he's on coke you know what i'm saying and he don't do a lot of coke just like a little bit off the nail all right y'all january 28th um this is the last full day of this video i'm gonna try to get it edited tonight and get it uploaded tomorrow um my birthday month has been extremely eventful I may be going to a poetry slam tonight instead of the comedy show. Um, I'm about to run out with my mom and my father right now. I'm going to take his bonnet off here in a minute. But I just wanted to give y'all tea. Um, I woke up in a really good mood. I didn't ate, had my water, had my vitamins. I'm feeling good. So I'm about to get out because it's maybe the only 50 degree weather day we get. And it just so happens to land on a weekend on a Saturday. So enjoy the rest of the clips to end up this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm ending out the vlog. I ended up going to the Poetry Slam. It was date night, so I did not record. But I had a really great time. We went and got Noodle and Company afterwards. And then we just chilled here at the house. I didn't showered. I didn't change my bedding. I am about to relax. I got my candle lit. But I wanted to do this quick Ross haul. Uh, I got these Calvin Klein sports bras for $14 at Kohl's. Just wanted to show y'all these. Um, yeah, they have like a whole bunch of Calvin Klein stuff on sale. These normally go for $30 a piece, and I got them for $14. So, 50% off those. And then, I go to Ross for my soaps and stuff. So, I got these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Wipes for like $4. I got a four-pack of the Dove Beauty Bar Soap for like $4. Like... Yeah, and then I got these, I got two Dr. Bronner's Hemp Eucalyptus soaps for like $5 a piece. And then lastly, I got this ring. It's just a little Michael Kors ring for $15.
And then in the previous clip, I showed you my new bedding, which was $35. So I just wanted to end out the video with a quick Ross haul. And I will see y'all in February. Have a good week and I'll see y'all then. Love y'all.